A procession of sorrow in Crown Heights, Brooklyn, as a community remembers a rabbi murdered while on vacation in Florida with his family. CBS 2's Andrea Grimes has more on the rabbi's life and how police are investigating his death. Tears and prayers today on the streets of Brooklyn as hundreds of mourners bid a final farewell to Rabbi Joseph Roxon. I'm in a fog. I'm literally in a fog until today. It's unbelievable that this thing happened. Rabbi Kalman Shore spoke to his friend on Friday, just one day before he was shot dead while walking to synagogue in Miami. Rabbi Roxon, a husband and father of six from Crown Heights, was visiting family. He was a very doting grandfather. He was thrilled to be there and take care of his grandchildren. Mourners swarmed the vehicle carrying the rabbi's casket as it made its way past the Chabad Lubavitch headquarters in Crown Heights. Family members trying to understand how his life could end so tragically. To be just targeted in the street and murdered in cold blood, it's horrible. As loved ones mourn in Brooklyn, in Miami, a team of homicide detectives went door to door working with the FBI to find the two suspects responsible. Right now, there are no indications that it was a hate crime or related to a hate crime. However, we are not uh, closing that door. Authorities are trying to determine a motive, saying it appears this could be a robbery. But Rabbi Roxon had nothing valuable on him. Orthodox Jews do not carry wallets on Sabbath. For him to be taken in this way, the shock and pain is very great. Family members believe this was a hate crime. There have been other recent crimes in the same neighborhood. A shul was defaced with a large red swastika and the word Hamas scrawled next to it. Last night, a swastika and German Iron Cross were carved into an SUV. Loved ones just hope the rabbi's killers are caught. He's going to be so really, really missed. After the procession here in Crown Heights, Rabbi Roxon's body was taken to Old Montefiore Cemetery in Queens for burial. In Crown Heights, Brooklyn, Andrea Grimes, CBS 2 News. Miami-Dade police are now offering a $3,000 reward for information leading to an arrest.